beautiful. What's up, Jonah? Recording from my actual office. What a rarity. I've just been doing a lot of work on the computer the last couple days, and I've been trying to get all some... I've been trying to get a lot of work stuff done to help sort of get us in a great position that if we get approached for jobs that we are prepared. And I think that that's a really important thing for this time in general is that um, where possible, being ready for opportunity when it comes, um, which is not always easy, especially when it's not coming. But anyways, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we've been talking about in terms of value and in terms of like objective and subjective philosophy. And today I was thinking about in, when it comes to collaborating, working together as a team, how important it is to be precise. Now I figure there are really like two modes that are gonna be what comes up in most creative situations. You're gonna need a time that's playful, experimental, free to make mistakes and fail. And that is like the time to, to be truly creative in your ideas, to be able to like just enjoy making and breaking concepts with words. Um, I think that there's alternatively another time that's really important, and that is when to be in the more closed mode where you are very precise. And I think something that I've been thinking a lot about is how important precision is to being able to create something meaningful. I think when I first started my career as an artist, I started with concepts that were very vague, like steampunk, where it was just, what is steampunk? I don't know, it's like Victorian meets gizmos and gadgets. It's like gas lamp science. Uh, and so you was like, well, what did it have to look like? I don't know, a vest, a top hat, some sort of weird brass like contraption. Is it made of wood? Is it overly embellished and complicated? It didn't really have a lot of structure. And in that I was able to be super playful and experimental, but that's not a really great skill for making money. For making money, you have to be far more precise. People are like, well, I want this very specific thing. And you're like, look here, I've done it before. Look at this exact example, or here's a concept design and I will recreate this exactly. It's interesting. I think that we're not always the best, both as artists and as people, at knowing when to be precise and when to be more loose, vague, and creative. It's really interesting. I think in terms of trying to be progressive and actually enact meaningful momentum in your projects, your personal life, it requires a high level of precision. So there's definitely something to be said for the balance between knowing when to be open, playful, creative, and vague, and knowing when to cut it off, be very precise, and enact a plan of action. What do you think, Jonah? Um, I think uh, I'm definitely one for precision. It's kind of my, I, I, I think my brain has always craved precision. You know, like growing up, uh, I used to be like every kid who asked why. And, my, you know, my parents said for a long time the same thing because I said so. I have great parents, um, but I'm for sure 100% positive I've heard those words. Um, and I think I was a teenager when I finally was like, actually, I'm, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but if you just answer... If you help me understand why, it helps me function better because it's hard for me to do a thing unless I truly understand the core concept. And that is still true to this day. I am not the easiest employee to deal with because I crave understanding. And when I don't have it, I f my anxiety was crazy. So I'm like, I feel like I'm floating. I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I've definitely had to do a lot of self-work in that area. but. Because of that, I'm very into precision because precision means clarity. And um, it's an interesting thing, especially when it comes to communication and artwork. So yeah, what do you think? Do you think you tend to be really clear and precise or do you think that you tend to be more open, playful and vague? Uh, and I, I don't wanna put any negative connotations on vague. I just think that it's there's a useful space for being vague where you can sort of allow room to grow a concept whereas precision tends to close more doors and that's what i mean by that but anyways uh that's it for me what do you guys think at home do you, do you think you're more precise or do you think you're more vague and which one has been more useful for you in terms of actually enacting momentum in your projects or your life in general 
Oh, that's it for me. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you, Jonah, tomorrow. Catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.